Hi guys, this is Chris with IPGRentals.com and today I'm going to show you how to sync up separate audio and video sources using the Tentacle Sync timecode system and the Tentacle Sync Studio. Let's check it out. So here we are in our studio. Uh, right now we have the Tentacle Sync Studio uh, blank page opened up, uh, ready to, to intake some footage. Um, and we're pretending it's, it's, it's been a day of shooting. Uh, we, have, uh, we have audio and timecode coming from the uh, Sound Device 664 and we've shot on a uh, Sony A7S II. So there's a couple ways to do it. Uh, in post, uh, but the way I'm going to show you today is using the Tentacle Sync. So we've already put one of the Tentacle Sync lockboxes on the Sony A7S. We've jammed it up with the mixer, and uh, they have an awesome program called the Tentacle Sync Studio, which analyzes it and does it for you very quickly, and it's a fantastic tool. So let's uh, let's dive in here and uh, take a look how to uh, how to sync up the footage very quickly. So here it is. This is the uh, the opening screen uh, for a new project on the Tentacle Sync Studio. You see, we have our uh, our playback window here. Timeline's going to end up being down here, and this is where all of our lovely files are going to go: audio tracks and video tracks, uh, ready to be synced. So it's a really silly, easy process. Um, I'm going to go ahead into Finder right here, and I'm going to jump into one of our old projects that we did at a restaurant here in Orlando. So you see here's my uh, my parent folder and inside here I have audio and I have camera A, B, and C. And so it's as easy as grabbing the audio, camera A, B, and C. You click it and you just drag it in there. And like I said, uh, it does a lot of heavy, heavy lifting for you. Uh, and you can see it's analyzing the media right now. And it could take a second or two, so I'm gonna let, uh, I'm gonna breeze by this really quick and get right back when it starts. Okay, so we have loaded all of our clips on here and right off the bat you can see uh, some little green triangles, you can see some little red triangles. And that immediately lets you know uh, that there was syncable material versus non-syncable material. It runs it through its own detection software to see uh, the time code within the audio file and the time code within the video file. So if you look at this right here, you'll see, let's see if I went with the green. So you can see the video, audio has green, audio time code, and then the file time code. The yellow simply means that there was a file time code on the video that was detected, but it was not used in the final sync. It used the audio time code for the final sync. So when you have it just like this, everything has gone A-OK. -okay. I'm just gonna go ahead because I do not like looking at all of these red triangles right here because a lot of it, you can see right here, it was B-roll uh, that we were doing a food and stuff like that. And then some of these, uh, some of the files, you know, we were at a dance club and, and a lot of time audio was not rolling at that point. It was just for B-roll. So just to make us, uh, just to make us look a little sharper, I'm gonna go ahead and I am going to just get rid of these really quick. Ah, now that feels a lot better. So you can see our, our audio files here, you can see our video files here. And what's really cool is you can look at what's called the sync map. And what the sync map is, uh, it works just like a regular timeline and you can see video files on the top uh, and you can see audio files on the bottom right here. So if we go ahead and kind of rip through here where you can see two cameras, this is where we had two cameras going at once in kind of a multicam view and you can see this is our video one and if you click here, there's our video two going at exactly the same time, which is going to make it much easier when we bring it into Premiere uh, to do a multicam setup. So it went ahead and it synced up audio through various uh, our various two cameras. So once you have this and pretty much all the heavy lifting has been done for you, you didn't have to go in and look for a clap sync or anything like that. You've got a couple ways of getting this uh, out of this program and so you can put it into whatever uh, video editing program that you have. And the options are actually right up here. And you can see you can do media and that brings up the, uh, the window for you to select, uh, you know, for you to do a pass through, which is just to keep it the original codec. Um, and you can do a lot of others here, uh, which, which is the, any kind of video codec you want uh, for any kind of video editing software that you have. Um, and again, you can do, again, different kinds of, of audio codecs and audio uh, levels, hertz levels as well. So in case you don't wanna do that, and in case you don't wanna render out 
all these files again, you've got the option to go into the AAF or XML. AAF is simply a, a data file for um, Avid, and XML is a data file for um, Premiere and Final Cut. And the pros to that is you don't actually have to render out all this stuff as a, you know, if you're running a little low on space, you can just do the data file. And when you have the data file, all you have to do is open it up in, say we have Premiere, all you have to do is open it up. And that will go ahead and open up all the clips that you already have in there uh, on a sequence. And you'll see the audio files have been synced up there. So it's actually quite a simple thing. And when you're done with it and you want to maybe add more, all you have to do is come over here and delete everything off, and you are back to, uh, to square one, your start window. And that's really it. The program does most of the heavy lifting for you. Uh, it's just very important that you jam up your stuff correctly, otherwise uh, it's not gonna work out quite as easily. You have to do it manually in post. So at IPGRentals.com, we drop a new video at 9 a.m. Eastern time just to give you new tips and tricks to feel comfortable with the gear that we rent. So please like, comment, and subscribe. And remember, IPGRentals.com, it's our gear, it's your vision.